Brett BK says, have it your way. Not only are we gonna have it our way, we're gonna do, do it, it our, our way, way as sure. well. You wanna see us knock out our take on their mushroom Swiss patty melt? Stick around while we dig, dig in. in. I can't believe the Wall Twins. They're right there. That's one of them. That's the other one. I'm the other one. So we are getting right to this one. This whole weekend I've been here. I'm film guy, uh, also sound guy. People have asked why the headphones. Uh, Brett and I are mic'd up and more times than should have happened, a mic has been muted or turned off. So we always make sure that somebody's listening at all times. So uh, this weekend it happens to be me. But Brett, I'm excited to do this yes. one. You didn't like mushrooms, but now you do. Correct, and it's it's been, I don't know, just a, a maturation process, if you will, <laughs> of my, it's same with onions. We used to yeah. hate onions, and yet here we are. I'm, I'm not in the love mushrooms quite yet, but I have found them quite pleasing. All right, and speaking of mushrooms, talk about what's going on in this one. So, okay, so here we go. Well, uh, yeah, we got 80-20 uh, ground beef. Mm -hmm. We got picked up from Publix. We got Swiss cheese. We got these baby Bellas, which we'll be salting and peppering, which is not pictured, neither is the butter. Yeah. And we're putting on this uh, Petrich, Petrich Farm farmhouse sourdough bread. Right, so Brett, why don't you run in and grab the salt I'm gonna pepper. Do that. We just want to keep it warm inside. There we go. Uh, also, a quick tip, we are warming up the griddle press on here. By leaving the press here, we don't need parchment paper. This should hopefully get hot enough. This is our first time trying that out, but we're gonna heat it up there. Brett's got the salt and pepper, and we're gonna go ahead and get our meats ready to go. All right, so we're gonna go ahead, first things first, Brett, let's get the mushrooms going. All right, we'll get that going right there. Get that butter melted down, and then one of our favorite things to do is saute mushrooms. We can always add a little bit more. Now, Brett, one thing I always do is I add a little bit of the vegetable oil as well for the sauteing. Go. We got a little oil, vegetable oil, and our baby bellas is what we're going with today. And these will get much smaller Correct. Uh, over time. All right, so we're gonna get to get this going. This is gonna be a good five to seven minutes of sauteing these, cooking these up, and then uh, we'll come back when they're just about all the way sweated down. We already got salt on there, now we're peppering these. Maybe a little bit more salt. All right, there we go. All right, keep it going. All right, so verdict is these are just about done, but not quite, so we're gonna move them over just a little bit, turning the burner all the way down to low, and Brett is clearing a space for our burgers. We're gonna go ahead and get going now. We're doing them what we're calling smash style, but only to give them a light press to get them, oh, I guess we do kind of want them thinner, but we're not doing full smash burgers. Are we though? Are <laughs> All we right, though? let's go ahead and get them over here. All right. You, you know when it's good bread, Adam? When? When there's a plastic bag inside, inside of a, a plastic, plastic bag. bag. That's some good bread right there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're gonna toast this quickly because this is the hot spot. So we'll toast it. Brett, I'm gonna kill the heat here. Okay. So we can set, or I guess we'll take the, pick, take the buns and put them off the side completely, or the buns, the bread, when you're done toasting. Sure. Now, like I said, this is because it is hot, it's gonna, oh, Brett, I love how thick that bread is yeah. actually. It's very dense. Yes, sir, that's gonna be really good for this. All right, Brett, when those are ready, go ahead and pull that. We can pull them because then we can rebuild right there on it. So bread is adequately toasted. And now <laughs> Adequ is adequately is Adam's word of the day today, by the way. Yes, so is. adequately has got to be in the, if you're sticking around. There we go. Thing at the end of this uh, <laughs> video. Now, if we were doing true smash burgers, we wouldn't want to because for that Maillard reaction, but that's not what we're going for. Mm -hmm. we, these are gonna cook a little bit longer. So, so meatball there. All right. Okay. I'm going to come around to the other side. The other now, side. we don't have parchment okay. paper, which That's you explained. Right. So here. Right. So with the heat, we think that this is supposed to be good enough. Give it a good press. You can rock it back and forth, kind of move it a little bit. Move it and a groove it. Nice. Okay. Oh, there's, make sure you scrape some of that off. <laughs> so it didn't work. So Brett, on this one, here's what we'll do. On this one, turn it over, which has also worked for yep. us. There we go. This is a trick that we've done before as well. So our first trick didn't exactly work for Brett. That's okay, we're gonna be able to make the save. That's what's gonna be awesome. Yes. There we go, and that's good. Ha <laughs> ha, it worked. Yeah, much better, okay. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and give those a flipping cheese. We're gonna flip and we're cheesing. Let the cheese ready? No, we do not. All right. All right. Best part about this cooked bread is it's almost done. Correct. Okay. There we go. He's got the spatula. 
and look at the little crust. You love it. Nice and nicer. All right. Cheese it up. Cheese it up. All right. Put one on top of the other. There you go. All right. And then on that one, Brett, go ahead and pile them shrooms. Mm -mm, good. All right. Now it's time to bread it up so we can kill this. Kill the heat. Okay. So as Brett said, we're just going to do a skosh of that mayo on there. Perfect. And Brett may as well use the spatula to spread if you need to, because you know, it's all going to the same spot. It's all come from the same spot. Get the bits from the burger on there. That's okay. All right. We'll do the same thing to the top. All right. So we get our burger onto our, oh man. Fun. Look at that. <laughs> Burger King would not do it this way. No, Burger King's not doing it our way. There we go. All right. Looks good, brother. All right, we need to go get a knife so we can cut this, and then we'll be good to go. There it is. In all its oh, glory, this is a juicy, juicy. Glory. In fact, I've, I've got to do this squeeze. For people that say that smash burgers, you just squeeze all the juice out. I'm so sorry, but just take a little. Mm. Oh yeah. <laughs> this looks incredible, but like we say, it can look amazing. This looks absolutely amazing. Burger King, <laughs> eat your heart out. Like we say, it can smell amazing. Oh man, can I get a smell? Yeah. Smell, yeah, you can. But well, if it doesn't, type sitch. but if it doesn't take, taste amazing, then this is all, all for, for not. Cheers. Cheers. I'll lead to that, my brother. Mm. Mm. That burger. Mmm. Mmm. The mushrooms. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm. You have to make that a mushroom is. and mushroom and Swiss patty melt. Mm. Mm. Man, we make a good burger. Mm. That is so mm. juicy. The bread has that perfect crunch from the toast and that sourdough. That sourdough. That bread has a perfect integrity. Yep. It held even though the burger's so juicy. It's not sogging up at all. Mm -mm. Mm. All right, let's wrap it up. That's Sherry's got to try this one. That is she a good mood. Swiss. That's a good mood burger. That's a mood changer. Oh oh. I absolutely love it. Now we've done mushroom Swiss burgers several mm -hmm. different ways. Yep. This one we kept simple. We didn't add a sauce. We just used mayonnaise because I wanted the savoriness of the mayonnaise to mix with the with the mushrooms, yep. with the butteriness of the mushrooms. Yep. And the beef, and it was perfect. I would do yep. nothing to this to change it in any way, shape, One hundred percent. No, no other toppings. Oh, no car caramelized onions. So good, right? And I thought about doing the onions, but we kept <coughs> it simple. Yep. So uh, again, we really use Burger King as our excuse to get to come and do a patty <laughs> melt. <laughs> as soon as I, I saw the it. commercial, I'm like, Hey, Adam, we're doing a patty melt. Yeah. yeah. If you're still here with us and we stick it, you've stuck it out with us this long. Make sure and add in your comment. Uh, we adequately did it our way. <laughs> <laughs> if we adequately did it our way, or you adequately did it your way. Yep. Bread said, "Call me out for using the word adequately so much." We really do appreciate your guys' love and support. Those who stick it out with us. Yep. But if you did enjoy this video, if it gave an idea. Of something else that you can cook on your griddle, make sure and give this video a thumbs up. We really do appreciate it. It's one way in which you can support us in what we do. Another way you can support us is by purchasing one of our two cookbooks, The Epic Outdoor Griddle Cookbook and Smashed. Smashed. Both are available on Amazon or anywhere books are sold. Blue. Love that we get to come and do this. So much. Aside so from much. coming and knocking out bangers, like the Burger King copycat, uh, yeah, <laughs> where we melt. get it our way, the, the, the mushroom Swiss melt, why else are we doing this? Because all we do is twin, no, no matter, matter what. what. And with that, we bid you adieu. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And griddle on. on.